chronic tacos. I haven't had them yet. I'm gonna try them right now. What's up YouTube? Sweatpants Joe here, and it's time for another fun food review. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Hitting the notification bell will notify you when my videos go live and I upload at least twice a week, sometimes more. So today I'm checking out Chronic Tacos. I haven't had Chronic Tacos before. I'm filming this on a Tuesday, which is Taco Tuesday, and a lot of places have taco specials on Tuesdays. The tacos were a dollar off. I figured, let's give them a shot. Here's a shot of the tacos. So I've, I got one carne asada and one carnitas taco. The tacos normally cost $3.50. They were a dollar off today. I also upgraded one of them to a meal, which came with a side of rice and a side of beans and a drink and tortilla chips for an extra $4.50. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna try the carnitas one first. Here we go. First bite. I'm really digging the flavor that's going on in the carnitas. They have a little bit of a kick to them. I got it with the green medium salsa, so they're not that spicy. I was a little skeptical when I got the, when I saw the tacos being made, but I'm, I'm glad I gave them a shot because right now I'm really digging that flavor. Now I'm gonna try the carne asada taco. You know what? I think I actually like the carne asada even more. For a place like Chronic Tacos, which is like a, like a chain, I was kind of expecting, I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting. I went in there with very low expectations and I've already exceeded my expectations. The asada is cooked really well. It's cooked perfectly. It's very tender and very juicy and it's seasoned great. I'm really digging this. Now I'm gonna check out their beans. I like how they sprinkled some cheese on top of the, of the refried beans. The beans are kind of whatever. They're definitely not the best beans I've ever had. They're not the worst. And I'm gonna try the rice. I got the Spanish rice. They have white, they have brown, they have Spanish rice. Those are your choices at Chronic Tacos. Same can be said for the rice. The rice isn't all that great. Let's pour the rice into the beans. We'll mix it all up. Try to salvage, try to salvage the side. Here we go, rice and beans together. Two wrongs don't make a right in this instance. The meal also came with tortilla chips. Right now I can see they're cooked to a golden brown. They're gonna be very crunchy. Let's give this a try. Not a lot of salt going on, which is a good thing. I can see little specks of salt, but it doesn't taste too salty. Let's dip it in my beans and rice. It will make a nice little salsa out of this. Maybe this could save the beans and the rice. Let's finish these tacos. Yeah. Now 
down and rate everything on a scale of PU it stinks to sunshine lollipops and rainbows. Honestly, I want to give it two separate ratings. I'm going to do that. The sides, I'm going to give them a meh. I'd stay away from the sides at Chronic Tacos. The rice and beans, they're just not very good. The tacos, I really like. I'm going to give those and I like it a lot. If you're ever at a Chronic Tacos, I would just avoid the meal altogether. Just fill up on tacos. Save yourself the $4 and change, whatever it costs to upgrade to a meal. Just get an extra taco. If you're gonna get two tacos in a meal, get three tacos. If you're gonna get three, get four. Fill it up, it's really good. They also have burritos. So you can get a burrito if you want. I really dig the ingredients. I wanna go back and try the chicken. I really wanted the El Pastor, but they were all out. Let me know in the comments below if you have a chronic tacos near you and if you've tried it and if you like it. I may go back and buy another taco. They're really good. Those sides, meh, not so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.